This tutorial will explain how to use an OLTS for Tier 1 Fiber Link Loss Certification, then how to use an OTDR in conjunction with an OLTS for Tier 2 testing in order to diagnose and locate faults for comprehensive fiber link performance validation. The necessary equipment for conducting this type of testing includes an OTDR, such as the FTBX 730D, along with two optical loss test sets, such as the MAX 945 and the FTBX 945. First, let's prepare the OLTS equipment for testing. Ensure it is turned on and ready for use. Gather the necessary cabling and connectors. We recommend that reference cable for the MAX 945 and the FTBX 945 is no longer than 3 meters. Clean all connectors and use an inspection probe like the FIP 435B to ensure the connectors are clean. Then perform appropriate references as it is recommended on our units. Next, as shown on this graphic, connect the OLTS at both ends of the fiber under test. So one technician will be operating the MAX 945 and the other one, the FTB1V2 Pro, using the FTVX 945 module. Now, initiate the testing process with the OLTS. It will measure and display the insertion loss, optical return loss, and fiber length at two wavelengths in just five seconds via a fully automated bidirectional fast test analysis. This helps verify that the fiber links meet the loss budgets required by industry standards. Please note that you have the flexibility to designate which device will serve as the main unit and which will act as the remote unit. Whichever device initiates the connection by hitting the start button will become the main unit. Once the connection is established, each unit will display a clear indication of its role. Your device's interface will explicitly show whether it is functioning as the main unit or the remote unit. For your information, the new real-time continuity feature is included in the MAX 940 and 945. Both the main and remote units will emit visual and audible signals to indicate to technicians on both ends that a connection has been established on the specific fiber under test. This enables technicians to commence testing immediately, thus saving time on each fiber tested. In addition to the continuity feature, the MAX 940 and 945 also includes text messaging capabilities. This feature enables users to send text messages through the fiber under test faster than other test sets available in the industry. Before commencing Tier 2 testing, ensure that Tier 1 testing using the OLTS has been completed to verify that the fiber links meet the required loss budgets. Let's move on to Tier 2 testing using the OTDR. As shown on the graphic, only one technician will be required. Gather the necessary cabling and connectors. We recommend the length of the launch cable usually is between 15 meters and 1 kilometers. Then clean all connectors, following the same process we use to prepare the OLTS units. Use launch fibers at the near end and receive fibers if needed at the far end of the fiber links. This helps overcome dead zone limitations and tests the loss and reflectance of the connectors at each end. Connect the OTDR to the launch fiber to test the link. Initiate the IOLM measurement. IOLM dynamically locates and identifies all network components and faults with maximum resolution. Store the IOLM trace data for future reference and analyze the results. This will help you make informed decisions about the fiber optic cabling system's performance and integrity. Finally, to streamline your workflow and enhance collaboration, you can use two powerful tools free of charge. With FR3 reporting software, you will be able to generate comprehensive test reports effortlessly. Then, with Exchange Cloud Platform, you can securely save test data and collaborate seamlessly with your team members.